All right, this is another video on Java 8. And what I want to do in this video is talk about combining MapReduce and Filter together. So just to go through this again, I've got a, a little a POJO here called product info. It kind of represents a product name, UPC, uh, price, quantity. Uh, there's a two string. There is a constructor. Um, and then in my filter MapReduce example, I've got a Constru I, I'm constructing four objects that are uh, all these product infos and then I'm putting them into a list so first I create an array uh, in line and then I just do this conversion to a list and now I have a list of products and then if I run this I get I print this out I've got all of these uh, products on a list so let's say I wanted to do a couple things and I want to do this all as a stream processing um, command so what I want to do is say Let's filter out um, products under one dollar, and um, then let's uh, get all of the quantities, and then f finally, all right, this is dude, going crazy. we're gonna get all of the quantities and finally we're going to reduce that reduce the quantities to sum them right so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna say products dot stream immediately and then the first thing I want to do is the filter function because that will uh, reduce down the number of uh, list items immediately so I'll do a filter function the filter function is just going to be uh, p info and um, I'm just gonna return anything. I want I want to only collect things in this that are less than a dollar. So I'll return uh, p info dot get price is uh, less than one dollar. Uh, the other thing that you may have noticed in my other videos, I use the um, the type in here that's optional so you don't actually have to do that so I'm just doing that to save space here so here's our filter and then after we do the filter we're gonna do a map and in the map I'm gonna do the shorthand again so I'm gonna say product info colon colon get quantity but now I have a stream of integers because the quantity is an integer and then finally I'm going to do reduce and then we're going to do that accumulator it's going to be uh, integer 0 and then we'll have a and B these are integers so that's the, the last integer and this is the next integer so a is last B is next and on the first way through a is 0 so here's another lambda function and then I'll return a plus B to sum them and then the end of this stream, I'm reducing it into a single integer. So it's going to be integer sum equals this. And then I'll print that out. And then I basically did three loops here. I filtered through here to get only the prices of less than a dollar. And then I mapped that into um, a list of uh, integers, or sorry, a stream of integers. And then I reduced that stream into a single integer. Um, which is pretty cool because this is now pretty concise whereas like this first example yeah you can say we we probably didn't really save any space doing it this way uh, it's pretty similar to do uh, procedurally but when you start to do a chain and you chain a bunch of these together with like a map filter reduce kind of situation uh, it becomes really efficient and it's really nice to do functional programming like this uh, where you're just doing stream processing so Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, etc.